One person arrested after a high speed chase through Oklahoma City. It trailed from Southwest OKC up to the northwest side. Police say they tried to pull the driver over near Southwest 15th and MacArthur, but the driver refused, leading police all the way up to Northwest 16th and MacArthur. That suspect was taken into custody. Happening today, one of Athena Brownfield's caregivers expected in court. Alicia Adams is charged with two counts of child neglect. She told police that her husband, Ivan Adams, beat the little girl to death, burying her remains at an old property in Rush Springs. Last week, child remains were found, but the identity of them have still not been revealed. Also happening today, State Superintendent Ryan Walters will present his budget proposal to the State Board of Education. At a meeting on Tuesday, he addressed the House Education Budget and Appropriations Committee, focusing on education goals and his plans to make changes. Also included in his budget proposal, teacher pay raises based on performance. If approved today by the State Board of Education, Walters will present again to state lawmakers next week. Well, several Oklahoma sheriff's offices coming together saying they will not enforce a new ATF ruling. On January 13th, the U.S. Attorney General signed a final rule, which is like a federal regulation. And this morning, the Logan, Tulsa and Ottawa County sheriffs saying they stand with Oklahoma County in agreeing to not enforce this new regulation. The ATF making it clear this rule does not apply to those who use it in regards to a disability. It's some surveillance video that you'll see only here on five security cameras captured a dangerous situation after armed suspects held up a dispensary near Northwest 50th and Meridian. Take a look at this video. Two suspects walked in and within seconds, police say it turned into an armed robbery. Thankfully, though, nobody was hurt.